tree, you know I want them all. It started out as one gift, now it's become a whole list. It was only one gift, it was only one gift. Now he's making a list, and he's checking it twice. And he's gonna find out who's been naughty or nice. Now I'm nestled in bed for my long winter snap. Sugar plums in my head, but he sees when you sleep now. Knows when you're awake now. Let it snow, snow, snow. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to the most recent release from epic rap battles of history. We've got John Wick versus John Rambo versus my boy John McClane. That's right, I just came from the Nakatomi Plaza Christmas Party. Well, not just. It's from 1988. Christmas Party 1988. Die Hard is my favorite Christmas movie. Uh, but I don't think that this is a Christmas song, which is why this reaction is after Christmas. Although I'm recording it before Christmas, because I'm going to be away for the holidays. And you guys need another video, apparently. Um, but anyway, uh, before we get into that, please, if you like my uh, breakdowns, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you uh, like my breakdowns, chances are you'll probably like my comedy music, too. Had an example of that just before this video. I have a new album out called Illinois. It's out on Bandcamp at insaneian.bandcamp.com, but it'll also be hitting all the streaming services soon. Uh, and, uh, of course, if you really want to help support the channel and me, you can check me out at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these videos early, get my music early, get your name in the end credits at the end of these videos, all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Now that all of that is out of the way, let us dive into this battle. I'm excited for this one because uh, playing John Wick is Zach Sherwin who is, has been a writer for ERB, but we haven't seen in an ERB for about five years now. And that's awesome. Um, and of course, it's, uh, I just saw in the thumbnail, it's, it's uh, Epic Lloyd as John McClane and Nice Peter wearing a weird muscle bodysuit as Rambo. All right, we'll see how this goes. Uh, gonna say ahead of time, obviously I have a little bit of a bias because uh, I, I love Die Hard. Um, so my money's on McLean. Uh, I also have to be honest, I have never seen John Wick. I know I'm already hearing it in the comments. Uh, I haven't seen John Wick because I have a thing about hurting animals in movies. There's a great website called DoesTheDogDie.com where you can look up a movie to see if a dog, if you know there's a dog in the movie, if it dies in it, I can't handle it. I can't. There's something wrong with me. Uh, I know it's not real. I know it's pretend the dog didn't really get harmed. But I think especially in John Wick, I think you actually see it. Something happened to it. So because of that, I've never watched the movie or its sequels. And it, I know it's a thing I have to overcome. But because of that, I haven't. So, yeah. I know of John Wick because of pop culture, but <laughs> sure. Anyway, it's been three minutes. Let's jump into this. Rock, 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 bottles of us. John Wick. Force He's got the key on look. John McLean. Man, he, he, he's got the, the McLean look down really well. John Wick. Force John Got the got the the widow's peak hairline, the dirty T-shirt, because crawling through the air vent, and of course no shoes. Uh, it's a good look. McLean. He, he's looking he's looking like Bruce. <laughs> Boston, John Rambo. And he's looking like Weird Al in UHF, which honestly is a compliment because Al had that weird muscle shirt thing there too. Uh, you gotta have you gotta have. Uh, watch bands on the ends because the sleeves of whatever suit you're wearing are going to stick up over where your hands are. So he's got he's got wrist things, but uh, and the wig is kind of Al esque too, especially in that sequence where in UHF Al is pretending to be Rambo. Uh, it's, it's a great parody sequence in UHF. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Oh my God! All right, guess I'll be the one to draw first blood. Rambo first blood is is. 
first movie. The only one that's based on a book. Everything else kind of went off the rails after after the first one. But he's got the Stallone voice down. I, I should have expected. Or maybe you could draw an audience to see any of your new movies. Come out to the coast. We'll have a few <laughs> laughs. Sounds sweet. But no, I'm stuck here with these two jerkweeds. About to kick their ass with bare feet. I got to drop the beat. I'll set it off against the top of Nakatomi. Need a fire hose to swing on you. You both so below me. <laughs> I like the... Uh very Bruce-esque dance moves. I'm thinking more Hudson Hawk than Die Hard there, but I'm not quite feeling the voice. It's a little more high-pitched than I was expecting, but uh, it's it's not not there. It's just not quite there, you know? I haven't stopped killing it since calls for the Tony, and I got your detonators right here. Blow me. <laughs> Lots of Die Hard references. Uh, Nakatomi, Argyle... Uh, Ar Nakatomi Plaza is where everything takes place. Arga was the limo driver. Carl and Tony are two of the terrorists. He kills Tony. That's why he puts the thing on Tony's that says, now I have a machine gun, ho, machine gun, ho, ho, ho. Uh, and Carl is his brother, the one with the long hair, the blonde hair, and who does a lot of ballet kicks on him because the actor was actually a ballet dancer. Uh, and yeah, good stuff. Ship your booby trap home, Rambo. Cause you'll never take the W without the P and O. <laughs> oh man, that's a good bar. You'll never take the win without the <laughs> win W, and the you'll take the W without the P and O, meaning P O W. In Rambo's later movies, he would go in and rescue P P O Ws, prisoners of war. Uh, that's mostly what Rambo two or three is. Oh, one of the two. They've done five of them, right? They've done five Rambo movies. This is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good bar. Does your lip hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you string that shit up on your compound bow? <laughs> Do your balls hang low? Do we come to and throw? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? That's... Do your boobs, do your balls. People have you done that kind of thing, but he's doing it with the lip instead and turning it into a compound bow instead of tie it in a bow. Not like a, a lace bow, but a bow. An arrow, because that's what he uses in the Rambo movies, as well as lots of guns and knives and stabbing weapons. That's a Terminator reference, not a... never mind. Your booby traps home, Rambo. Cause you'll never take the W without the P and O. Does your lip hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you string that shit up on your compound bow? Lighten up, wick, with your brooding sound. That's such a great shot. I love the references to the to Die Hard. Like I said, very biased on this one. <laughs> How about a little Akuna Matata, Baba Yaga? You got okay, the Baba Yaga reference I kind of get because I know that has something to do with the the whole underworld thing in in wick the trousers tape and the watch spooker but your acting falls flatter than the hans gruber <laughs> falls flatter than hans gruber wow the underground coin game the mario brothers and john booby what the fuck's with the chest butter <laughs> the <Vendel> <laughs> that's a it's an ellis reference from die hard i there's so many die hard bars here and it's right after christmas uh, and it's my favorite Christmas movie. I'm getting all of this. I, you, I don't know if you can see off camera here. I have Nakatomi Plaza right here. This is this is Nakatomi Plaza. I have I have it on my desk. Biased. All right. Whatever. Watch Spooker, but your acting falls flatter than the hot Gruber. Live the underground coin game to Mario <laughs> Brothers and John. Booby. What the fuck's with the chest butter? The bandolier looks heavy as shit. I'm like this prick <laughs> ring finger, only need one clip. God, I've been shopping shattered glass since the late 80s. And like your late pump, I'll leave you pushing up days. Oh, low blow, talking about the dog. See, that's gonna get wick after you. That's, that's gonna get wick after you. That much I know. See, less is more, boys. That's my advice. You, less survival knife. You, more survival wife. Oof, because... She died and gave him the dog, and then they killed the dog, and that's why he got the revenge. And I understand the plot. I get the plot. It's just... And, you know, his background was all Nakatomi rooftop, and now it's going to be all the purple and neon that we see in, in Wick's movie. Ooh. 
I'm gonna need a dinner reservation for two. John Wick, I'm a fishing and lean, a proficient professional killing machine. I, uh, I dig the Keanu voice he's doing. I'm just waiting for Zack to unleash the bars because I know he will. He's one of the most prolific and verbose writers in the game. He's so good. All of his stuff is always, like, comes out of nowhere for people who don't expect it. But if you know Zack's stuff like I do, I'm expecting it and excited for it. Uh, he's got fantastic albums out, too. If you've not heard his non-ERB stuff, go check out Zack Sherwin's non-ERB stuff. His first album was released under a stage name called MC Mr. Napkins, which is one I've not actually been able to find myself. Uh, but his stuff that he released under Zach Sherman, it's up on Bandcamp, and he also had a, an album out called Rap, which is a fantastic album. Go check that album out if you haven't. It's phenomenal. Underworld, overachiever, looking dapper as a buck, and only one of us to go three chapters without sucking. But Ooh. Ooh, that's a, that's a trilogy burn right there. John Wick's only had three movies, and all three of them, each one has been getting better received than the last. Uh, Die Hard, ha their first three movies. Oh, only one of us to go three movies without sucking. Die Hard was great. Not a lot of people like Die Hard 2 because it kind of retreaded everything of Die Hard 1. And Die Hard 3 was no longer a Christmas movie. So they, they kind of went in, into the summer. And it's, it's a better movie. The funny thing about all the Die Hard sequels, uh, except the last one, is that none of them were written to be Die Hard movies. Um, the, the first movie is based on a book called uh, Nothing Lasts Forever, I think. And uh, McLean isn't even the name of the main character in it. They changed it. And it was supposed to be a sequel to, a, which is a sequel to a book called The Detective, which they already made into a movie starring Frank Sinatra in the late 60s, early 70s. And they had to ask Sinatra to play the lead character in Die Hard again before they asked anybody else because he was contractually supposed to do it. Again, big Die Hard fan. Uh, and all the movies after Die Hard 3 are varying quality. Some people like 4, some people don't. I, I kind of like 4. 5 is absolutely awful. But all of them, except for 5, are based on pre-existing things. 2 was based on a, on a short story called 55 Minutes. 3... Uh, was a different script that had nothing to do with Die Hard. It was originally called Simon Says, and it was shopped around Hollywood for years, and then they couldn't get anybody to, to pick it up until they turned it into a Die Hard movie. Uh, the fourth movie, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, is based on an article about, you know, called The Fire Sale, about, like, what if the whole, you know, infrastructure of the internet goes down and you know, all these security things get dropped. And then the fifth movie, which is uh, A Good Day to Die Hard. Uh, great title. Great tagline on the poster, too. yippee ki Mother Russia. Chef's Kiss. That's a great tagline for a Die Hard movie in Russia. Unfortunately, the movie's garbage. Uh, that one was the only one that's not based on something else or wasn't something else before it was a Die Hard. It was specifically written to be a Die Hard movie. And then you got the Rambo movies, where the first one is based on a book, uh, First Blood, uh, and then the second one is called uh, First uh, Rambo First Blood Part Two, which is way more way, way more violent and less introspective. Like he's he's not trying to hurt people in the first movie. He's just seen as a drifter because he's a he's a veteran who's come into the town and they they kind of pigeonhole him as somebody that's you know they're they're against him because they don't want him scumming up his up their town or whatever and in the second one he's just like you know i've got ptsd in the first movie but this one i'm going back to war it's what and then 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 rambo 3 is just an absolute mess uh and then there are two others after that i think john rambo and i think there's another one just called rambo or something because it's not confusing enough the way they name movies now. Um, and those were just... lost the plot of the original novel and, and movie. That took a really long time to explain that one bar. And I'm not sorry for it. That's what this show's about. If you don't like that kind of thing, I'm sorry. This is a reaction show. I react. 
uh, and I explain things. Yeah. We're going back now. If you want to see these videos without me yammering over them, just watch the original video. Links are in the description. Cool. Between your elevator and the mine where you were trapped, you're such wieners, I should call you both John Shaft. <laughs> Lots of John bars in this, too. Achiever looking dapper as a buck, and only one of us to go three chapters without sucking. Between your elevator and the mine where you were trapped, you're such wieners, I should call you both John Shaft. Nice. I track rhymes with pencils, then jam them in necks, so I'm not vexed by vets, flex and roid injected pecs. Ooh, see, now there's, there's the Zach Sherwin uh, alliteration flips. Those are, those are really good. An excommunicado wasn't more than I could handle, so I think I can withstand an excremental excommando and... Excremental excommando. Ooh, man, his, just, just his wordplay is so dynamite. It's so twisted, but so smart. I love it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm a big Zach Sherwin fan. This sad, broken dad joke and popo is no foe for... Dad joking. Sad, broken dad joking. Yeah, some of McLean's jokes are really dad jokey, and that's kind of Bruce Willis's sense of humor. A lot of his his one-liners were improvised by Bruce because he came from a comedy background and was put into an action movie. He was known for moonlighting before doing Die Hard. He wasn't an action star. They went through so many people before they settled on Bruce Willis. They asked Stallone, and they asked Schwarzenegger, and they all turned it down, and they asked a whole bunch of other people, and they finally got to Bruce Willis, who was, like, mostly known for a comedy thing. Same way they got Michael Keaton for Batman. Michael Keaton was known for comedy before doing Batman. And, uh, yeah, so his jokes, his one-liners, Bruce improvised a lot of them, not all of them, and uh, there, some of them are a little dad jokey now, uh, especially in the later movies, but whatever. My vets flex and roid injected pecs. Be an excommunicado wasn't more than I could handle, so I think I can withstand an excremental excommando when this sad, broken dad joke and popo is no foe for the virtuoso bad virtuoso. Ho, ho, ho. To wow. All of that wordplay there is so good. Quivers and bows. I'm delivering blows, and when they land, it won't help to make fists with your toes. <laughs> That's how you de stress off getting off, off a flight. Bitcoin? No. Bitcoin? Certainly. <laughs> Hitcoin. <laughs> the currency that uh, McLean talked about in his verse, the underground coins of the Super Mario Bros. That's what that was his line. That's the whole, you know, underground uh, criminal underworld way of getting through in the coins and everything. I know that part from the movies. I haven't seen the movies, but I know about it. That's all I'm trying to say. And it won't help to make fists with your toes. Bitcoin? No. Hitcoin? Certainly. I'll put you two in two. You call it cryptocurrency. Ooh. Crypt, tombs, crypto. Yeah, that's uh, that's a great bar. Hey, you're superior. Like good cops and soldiers. Raven, Roy, you're done. Over. Nothing is over. <laughs> that's a hell of a way to start a verse, there, Pete. <laughs> All right, I okay. Two verses down. I showed my bias, obviously, with all the references that Lloyd was putting into the verse as John McLean. So that that definitely had me. But Zach's wordplay is always super, super strong. So I'm kind of torn on this. I'm kind of leaning a little, little more toward John Wick, a movie I haven't seen. But uh, let's give Rambo a shot here. Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Unless it's one of your movies! In which case, I just turn it off! <laughs> What is happening on this verse? I mean, I know that's probably just an intro, but good lord, that was a... Uh, that was a thing. John Rambo is in Mortal Kombat 11. What the hell? And they got Stallone to voice it, too. Okay, that's a thing that happened. Sure. Video games. When I rip off my shirt and start swinging my stick sword, I'm hotter than the suicide girls on your switchboard. Because I think that's a casting thing. They cast suicide girls as switchboard operators for the underground in the John Wick movies. I think. I think that's what that reference is. Hey, my light went out. Cool. Batteries are fun. It's a little darker in here. Sorry. There. I'm backlit. It's a thing. Hey, but I, got no love for I shot three videos in a row and I didn't check the battery. I'm sorry. No juice was used to produce these armies. No juice was used. Meaning he didn't 
Wasn't using steroids. God, that's probably blinding on the camera. Oh, no, it's not bad. Uh, if you are getting blinded by it, I'll just move over here. Sorry. Sir, it starts swinging my stick swords. I'm hotter than the suicide girls on your switchboard. Headband's red, but I got no love for comedy. Headband's red, but I got no love for comedies. I missed that line. No juice was used to produce these armies. Armies, arm, sure, okay. The high devil rules don't apply to this conflict. I'll finish you right in the lobby. Is it a conflict? <laughs> Mission accomplished. He did that. He actually said mission accomplished in one of the movies, didn't he? It's really funny when uh, Tom Cruise says it in like Mission Impossible 4 or 5. Slams on the button, mission accomplished! And nothing happens. Yeah, uh, that's hilarious. Uh, just the fact that he would even say it. But yeah, Rambo actually says it in the movie. Oh, I'm losing battery power on that too. This is fun. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I shot three videos in a row, and my batteries on everything died. Sorry, but we're back, and we haven't gone anywhere. We're getting into his verse against McLean now. Hey, South is where your marriage went. The last pipe thing you slid in was an air vent. Ooh. Holly. That was, uh... That was a, that was a diss against the divorce there. Hey! Is where your marriage went. The last pipe thing you slid in was an air vent. They used to say you were a handsome crusader. Too bad your hairline couldn't get saved by Steve Urkel's neighbor. Original Val Johnson was the lead on Family Matters until Steve Urkel came along. And he was also Al Powell in Die Hard. Yes. References. Oh, I slip into the jungle, disappear like a gulf. That thing, I pop up up behind you. He's in the mud. It's a very Rambo and Dutch from Predator move. You like plastic piece, but I'm packing Parabella. I was trying to be the very best soldier boy. Tell him what? <laughs> soldier boy, tell him. And somebody coming in looking like, uh, oh God, I can't think of the actor's name who was in the, the Rambo movie where he's rescuing everybody. That was parodied in UHF. I think that's the second one. Uh, yeah. I don't, I can't but I'm packing Parabella. Movie. I was trying to be the very best soldier boy. Tell I'm blessed an RPG through NYPD's guts. Simon says you can PTSD die. Jesus Christ, Whoa. asshole. What are you doing? This is not some Saturday morning cartoon for you to ruin. Oh, oh, that's right. Rambo had a Saturday morning cartoon for kids. So did RoboCop. Rated R movies. Made for children as cartoons. The late 80s, early 90s were wild. I think getting ruined is McLean family Christmas. All your kids still have decent dad on their worst list. Whoa! Ooh. Rambo dropping bombs in his clothes. Your pals in the Taliban help you write those. Oh, there's the thing that's a reference directly to Rambo 3. Yeah, uh, it, it says thanks to the soldiers and it's a questionable thing. Uh, I don't know the exact wording of it, but, uh, the end of Rambo 3 has a message at the end that makes you go, what now, hot, huh? Yeah, that's a thing. Those were Mujahideen. There's a difference. The Taliban formed in the 90s when you fell off with a vengeance. Ooh! Yeah, okay. Thanks for the clarification, Wick. And also, with a vengeance. Die Hard with a vengeance was the third one. It was in the 90s. Bravo with that. Uh, I liked Die Hard 3. Die Hard 3 is great. Anybody who says Die Hard 3 is not good is wrong. Hey, who the fuck asked you, dog pal? Why don't you Ooh. go lock your mouth in a hole in the ground? <laughs> you're both a funeral suit away from presentable. I'm thinking I'm bad, and I'm thinking you're expendable. You wanna die hard? Both yeah, Bruce and uh, and Stallone are both in the Expendables movies. Uh, Keanu hasn't been in them yet, but I'm sure if they do the an Expendables four, they'd put him in it. Presentable. And a, and a funeral suit, meaning the black suit that he's wearing. It's, yeah. I'm thinking I'm bad, and I'm thinking you're expendable. You wanna die hard? Well, today's a good day! Good day to die hard. He's got the gun taped to his back. Nice. Let's go, motherfuckers! You be kaya yeah! <laughs> Ending it with yippee ki -yay. Bravo. Bravo. Always good to see Zach Sherwin back. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm torn because I really love McLean's verse, obviously. Uh, but I think I think Zach's bars took it for me. But it was real close. It was it's a McLean's a real close second on that one. Uh, and nothing against Rambo's verse. I just didn't like it as much as the other two. Uh, so yeah, that was that was this week's this month's this newest ERB whenever they do them in some semblance of a order that's uh that's good stuff the battle of the johns which sounds weird anyway if you like this video please like share comment subscribe if you want to check out my music videos links are everywhere uh and my music as well uh i'm on spotify all sorts of things like that and of course patreon.com slash insanian if you really want to support the channel Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Happy New Year. And that also means happy birthday to me. It also means that because my birthday is January 1st. Hooray. This is coming out on my birthday eve. Bye, everyone. Hans Gruber. Can it be? He is here for.